they say you can't do it. It's a man's world. Women can't do this. Women can't be scientists, but we can. Um, in the Milwaukee area, I would love to make an impact for more environmental awareness. Um, we um, at Schlitz Audubon do a lot of programming with inner city kids, and some of them haven't even like seen a squirrel before. And I just want to expose them to that kind of stuff. I want them to be able to, when they're at recess, you know, they pay a little bit more attention to the animals around them or what the trees are doing, and um, and maybe if anything, just find a little bit more, you know, peace while they're outside. I would hope that by making science, especially in natural sciences for me, um, more accessible and understandable to the lay public, that the impact would be that um, people would have more concern about the environment and would care for it. The changes I would like to see for women in the STEM workplace would definitely revolve respect and equality. You know, from my own personal experiences, you know, we've learned that we've come a long way, but we still have a much longer way to go. And so that comes from top down. That comes from these companies, these corporations, whoever the superior is, and the way it trickles down, creating the flexibility, creating the autonomy, allowing us to, to balance work and, and life, you know, balance work and social commitments and family commitments, um, but really being able to earn the respect and getting the respect that we deserve um, for the intelligence that comes along with it. A greater um, appreciation for uh, STEM women as experts in their field, in their discipline. Um, oftentimes, you know, women are, their integrity and their expertise is oftentimes questioned. And um, for that, then we're not necessarily sponsored or developed or selected to be chosen as leaders. So that's one of the changes that I'd really like to see for women in STEM. So to encourage young women to pursue STEM careers, it starts from at home, basically, very basic, um, or in the classroom even. It's just having those informal conversations with the students about STEM and just telling them about it, what they can do, encouraging them to go to like a workshop or a panel. It's that one-on-one -on -one conversation because they can go to huge panels and events and have people talking at, at them, but when they're in a crowd of whether it's a crowd of 10 or a crowd of 1,000, they're not going to get that sense of, I can do it, I can do STEM. So it's just having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them in the classroom, at home, in a coffee shop, whatnot, and telling them just what you can do and the potential they have. In my career, um, what I do is I actually study basic mechanisms to try to understand how to improve women's health. So for many, many years, studies only looked at men and um, they assumed what they learned in men could be applied to what to women. So we now know that what we learn in men can't always be 100% applied to what ways we want to treat women. So what motivates me in my own career is um, that I want to ensure that um, we keep studying diseases and thinking about women's health as we study them, and that we're always using males and females in studies that we do, whether it's in a clinical setting or in my own research laboratory. I think actually the way to get young women to pursue STEM careers is to make it so that the environment that they're working in or they're learning in is more egalitarian. So, um, and I think that's true for, for boys and girls. Um, one thing that, so, so we talk in my classes with my, with my teenage students about the fact that they're all nerds and you know, and this is, um, something that they're coming to accept about themselves that when they're really interested in something they're really interested in something um, and and other people think that's weird <laughs> but they're really interested and so that whole like like um, ability to to like be really interested in something and having that be okay and having not knowing something be safe and being able to fail and it's all right I think that's something that both men and women need to learn how to do, and um, need to do how to do in a way that's really supportive of each other. 
Uh, we can support women working in STEM by just continuing to um, shine a light on unconscious bias um, where it exists in our workplace and our world in general um, and continue to create a world that's um, very inclusive um, and a workplace culture that um, everyone can come to work and do their best work. What has motivated me to excel in my STEM life, I guess, is just the fact that they say you can't do it. It's a man's world. Women can't do this. Women can't be scientists, but we can. We can and we can do it well. Education and training for everybody works the same way. And another thing is just like, I come from a family that, uh, like I was born to teenagers. So I told myself I had to be bigger than what society would say. Hey, she's a teenager. She's gonna be a teenage mom. She's gonna be this, she's gonna be that. And I, want, I didn't want any of those I don't know what to call it, obstacles or stereotypes on myself. So I just wanted to prove to the world that I can change the pattern of how life is. If you would have asked me maybe 10 or 15 years ago what would inspire, encourage, or motivate me in the STEM career, it would have been the ability to start my own engineering firm and to just see those projects that we could have you know, in our office to design, to have built in the field, to make a difference, again, for water quality because that's all about what we do. But now things have really changed in my life and what I see is really important. And now I think what inspires me every day is my staff. I have at the moment all female engineers. I didn't plan it that way, they just happened to flock over to our office. Uh, but to be able just to help them spread their wings and grow as, you know, as women, as designers, as engineers, and to you know, help to inspire them, to motivate them, really motivates me. That's just, that's all of it.